Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back, finally. Um, it's been a long while, I know, but I've been going through a lot of mental health issues and stuff, so I haven't really been able to film. But hopefully I will be back on track. And so yes, I have this to review with you. I know it's not super new. I mean, it's newer, but... I'm going to review it anyway. I know other YouTubers have done it, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to and I'm excited. So, yes, we have Shadow High, the counterpart to Rainbow High. I love the packaging of this. I really, really love it. Um, It's got that same shape as the original boxes and it has that same iridescent holographic detailing on the box and this is series one so they are going to have series two so that's exciting and of course we have the boy you know i had to find the boy of course <laughs> um so yeah and so here it says let your true color shine which is kind of the same thing as the rainbow high logo which is kind of weird um i thought their logo was like eclipses or something but i don't know but yeah we have the window box display so we can see the doll and the fashions. And then here is his name on the side here. And he has the um, little thing that he does. The video audio effects. And I love this design here. It looks like um, pixels. And it's like that on the top as well. And then here's the back. Here are all the other dolls you can get in the series. Ooh, look how shiny. I love it. And... Ew, why is there a band-aid on my box? That's disgusting. Where the heck did that come from? That is not mine. I don't know where the freak that came from. Ew, 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 ew. That's freaking disgusting. Ew. That's really gross. Ew. Okay, I don't know why there's a band-aid on there, but that's really disgusting. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to sanitize after that. Okay, anyway, back to the box. So here we have the um, little blurb here about the um, Rainbow High meeting its match. And then all the girls. And of course, we always only get one boy, of course. And then of course, we have the girls on the sides of the box around the trim. I love. Okay, so let's get him out. Officially, let's get him out of this box. This shouldn't be super hard. I already cut the tape at the top. Um, these are not the top, sorry. You want to open them from the side. My bad. I said the top. Why did I say the top? I don't know why I said the top. Okay. This, what is this? It's a little insert. Okay. There's a stand. And I should be able to pull him right out. Like so. Because... This is how the box is always open. Okay, why is this like so... Should have I opened him from this side? Because there's no way to open him from this side. You have to pull him from this side. So, okay. Maybe I had to open him from the top. I don't know. I'm not saving these boxes. So, okay. Yep, okay, there we go. See, I don't know if you can see it. Yep. So this is how we're going to open it. Oh, he's so much easier to get out. Okay, this is better than the series, the original series. I haven't opened a Rainbow High in, like, so long. So I don't know if the boxes are different than they used to be. Or not, but... I'm pretty sure they are. I don't know. I don't remember it being that easy to open. So, it, it might just be me. I don't know. I could be wrong, though. You can correct me in the comments if you want. Let me go ahead and get his stand put together here. This goes like so. Why do I always have problems with doll stands? I, I never understand why whenever I put doll stands together, I have such a difficult time. And I don't save these boxes. I know a lot of people like to save them, but I do not. So, they just go in the trash. And, um, that's just me personally. But, 
you guys do you i mean that's that's all you if you if you like to save them that's great but i do sometimes reuse this um packaging for things so i do save that because you know we have to recycle and you know all that jazz snip snip We go ash we got you got him out all right perfect Woo! we got him out i'm oh, sorry my my soul's look it's pretty pretty packaging that i ripped <laughs> oh he's like it's so funny how it, how he's this color like i'm so not used to this and it, it, it i promise like if you're new to this like this is his skin color I don't know where to start. Let's start with his face, I guess. He's so cute. I mean, he has like, um, he still has a feminine type of face, like the, um, river doll. But I think it's a slightly different. And I don't understand why they always have to give the guys the same hairstyle. River had the same hairstyle as him, minus the slight difference but anyway we'll get to that okay so here he is he's got this um grayish skin tone of course and of course his eyelashes are inset eyelashes as you can see and they're long just like rivers and i'll probably trim those up like i did the other guy <laughs> just because i just don't like them being super long um and look at his nose so that's and he's got a nude lip color and as you can see he does have ear buds which are apple earbuds or what are those called i oh gosh i don't have these i don't know what these are things what are these things called um airpods airpods that's it i don't have them so yeah these are airpods which is pretty cool nice little detail and then of course his hair is this silver tone color which i love you know what i'm gonna call i'm not gonna his name's ash but i'm gonna call him pietro he looks like a pietro oh he's gonna be pietro that's his name y'all that's his name i'm naming him pietro okay anyway <laughs> pietro here he's got this black hair underneath which is shaved and it is flocked as you can see flocked all the way through and then he's got a little bit of shaved bits right here on the sides where the flocking is. And his eye color is a light blue with some gray undertones and a little bit of green. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of green in there. Super pretty. He has this windbreaker jacket material, which is really nice. And it has this thing here on the side that says Shadow High since 2022. This is when they came out, and there's his hand. I wish they would fix these daggone hands. I do not like these hands. Um, the hands are fine. It's just they look way too small. Like, oh wait, oh, not. actually, I think they might have fixed the hands. I don't know if River has the same hands or not. His hands look different for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe they are bigger than rivers. Okay, I don't know for sure, but they looked weird before. I didn't like them. Anyway, back to the windbreaker. So this is dark silver color with the black around the trim, around the neck, where the neckline is. And then um, this right here, this trim is actually a different material. This is actually fabric. I mean, this is fabric too, but this is like a cotton and this is more of a windbreaker. And then it does fasten right here. Oh, it actually has a little fastener. If you can see, it's plastic, but it's a fastener. Let me see here. Can I unbuckle? Let me unbuckle your jacket here, dude. Hold on. I'm not trying to... I swear I'm not trying to violate you here, dude. I'm just... Hang on a second. 
I need two hands for this because I don't want to break the um button. The button. Why is this not un undoing? Okay. What? Come on. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Whew. That takes a little finagling. Okay. Did I break it? No, okay. Whew. I thought I broke it. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, yeah, the little fastener. You have to be very careful with this fastener here because it's really tight. So, underneath, he does have this black t shirt. Is it a crop top? I don't think. No, it's it's long. No, short sleeve. And see, you can see it's like a windbreaker material. And it has this triangle here, which this reminds me of Vans, like the Vans type of logo or something like a, a skateboarding logo. I, I, I don't think it's Vans. It's like a, oh, it's, it's a, I want to say birdhouse, but I don't think that's right. I, it's one of those. I don't know which one, but it's like a skater logo. That's what that looks like. And then he also has the windbreaker type shorts. Sorry, not shorts. Pants. My bad. Pants. And it does have a little drawstring right there. And two little fasteners, which are painted on. Wait, and they're not painted on. Sorry. They are um, embroidered. These are embroidered on. And there's the little strings. So you can tie them. And he does have um, this really cool reflective material on the... Um, bottoms of his pants yo i just realized him and jade have the same pair of shoes first wave jade has the same exact shoes except hers says rainbow and his says shadow if you can see that sorry about that my thing just like went all weird okay so this says shadow instead of rainbow which jade has the same exact pair and mine has a weird, I don't know if you can see, has a stain right there, like a paint stain. Anyway, so there, there's the back of his um, windbreaker um, track pants thing. I don't know what you would call this. I am not familiar with fabrics or any of that, so I'm sorry. He does have some pockets that actually open, and you can put something in it. But if you're really careful, but I don't think you'd be able to get it out if you put that in, something in there. He does have this super cute Japanese writing right here on the pocket on the right side. And I have no idea what that says. I'm still learning Japanese, so I don't know what that says. He also has some right here. And I can actually kind of read some of these letters i know that letter for sure but i don't know i don't know any of the other letters oh geez i'm, I'm assuming it says this just because it's right underneath there but if you know japanese definitely tell me what that says i don't know those letters i'm still learning i'm still on the alphabet y'all so i don't know <laughs> i'm still learning the alphabet so yeah and also he has some kanji um, right here, or hiragana. I'm not sure if it's kanji or hiragana. It doesn't look like hiragana, but I do know that letter, but I don't know these ones. It's actually, it's the same letters as down here. So maybe it says shadow, maybe? Actually, it might say that. It might say shadow because like, look, on the back of his jacket also has this lettering so yeah i'm i'm guessing it says shadow but i could be wrong so if you know japanese please do let me know what that says so yeah there's that and um i do love this reflective material it's super cool that they have that and it's like this iridescent um holographic and he also sorry there's like hair on there um he also has black socks which I'm trying to feel their ankle socks okay because they don't go all the way up his leg those are ankle socks so he does have articulation um he can move at the um shoulder up and down out and in at the elbow and at the wrist as well his head does have movement can you look up and down um 
Yep, he can he can move his head at a 360 degree. So he has an odd ball joint on his head, I think. Yep, see, he can look... Oh, he can't look down very far. He can only go that far. It's weird. So he can look up. He can look up pretty far. But as far as going down, he can't look down very far. I love this jacket. Anyway, so there's that. Okay, and he can sit. So that's good. His second outfit is my favorite. I love this outfit. Is there a shirt underneath this? Yeah, it looks like a... Oh my god, oh my god. I love this shirt. Okay, I'm I'm in, I'm officially in love with the second outfit. Okay, I need to snip this off so I can get a better look at the shirt. Because this shirt is amazing. Dude, you have some cool outfits. I love your style. You know what's funny that his name is ash i'm i'm sure my friend doesn't watch these videos but ash this doll kind of looks like you which is kind of ironic that the doll's name is ash and my friend's name is ash <laughs> it's kind of funny anyway <laughs> just saying i don't know if you watch my youtube channel but just pointing that out so here is um his shirt which is so freaking cute look at this little astronaut with the metallics all oh, holographic metallic -y glitter. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then it has this little thing. I think it says shadow again. I'm pretty sure. That's what it says. I'm sorry. So there is that. And it's a white shirt. And is it long sleeve or short sleeve? It's short sleeve because, like, I can feel there's no sleeves right here because this is the jacket portion. And underneath. And actually, I know, Ash, you're not watching this video probably, not, but this actually looks like an outfit you would wear, to be honest. I mean, probably not the this part, but the, um, the shorts here with this jacket and stuff. I could totally see you rocking this. Anyway, that's really funny. It's hilarious to me that you have a doll made <laughs> made based on you. It's funny. Okay. I don't understand this style, but okay. The shorts with these legging things, do they are they separate pieces? Yes, they're separate pieces. So here's the leggings. Which are really cool. I love the leggings. They have these zippers on them. Look at these zippers. Like, oh, they have a little opening right here at the knee. So cool. And then the shorts are just this, um, what do you call this material? Oh, gosh. Um, gym short type material almost. And it does have functioning pockets, but they don't open. And the drawstring as well. And the jacket has a little hood on it. It has a white, it's a white hood. And then the back has the shadow high again. And then it has this little logo here. I don't know what this says. Clops. Oh my god, I'm, I'm an idiot. Sorry, sorry, I don't know if they said clops. Eclipse. Why say clops? Oh my god, I couldn't see the letter. It's like midnight right now when I'm filming this, so I'm tired. It says Eclipse. Wow, Rudy. Get it together. So, they actually have these belt buckles for the zipper, like in between the zipper. And do these actually work? No. No, they don't. Okay, I was going to say, what? Do these actually buckle, like... That's amazing. No, they don't actually do that. See, because you can see where they don't. But it just has that fake um metallic um metal to it. See how shiny it is? It's so pretty. And the inside's lined with that. And then you can see the, the trim of the jacket is white with um that cotton material. The jacket itself is like a different type of material. It's almost like a hoodie. 
well, this is a hoodie, but like, it's like a hoodie material, which is really cool. And it does have pockets on the side of the sleeves. And the sleeves are leather. Like, not real leather, obviously, but like, look. I don't know if you can see it. It's got pleather for the sleeves. That's really pretty. I love that. Boy, you be styling. Like, dang, boy. You are really styling. I love it. Mine, mine has a little thing right there. But he's fine. And these are removable. So you can take the earring, ear pods, ear pods out. So that's not an issue. I think they're ugly. But... I'm, I'm going to take them out because I think they're ugly, but that's just me. They did a good job painting them. They are this metallic white, and they have the bottom. If you can see the bottom part right here is actually painted silver. His beautiful long lashes. And his eye, his um eyebrows are really nice too. They actually have the hairs in them like they do with all the rainbow highs. So we got the three little hairs here, and they're painted like this silver blue color, almost blue match his eye if you look close I don't know if you can tell and then he's got the little hairs down there at the bottom and then there's the eye eye um eye crease right here so it gives him more dimension of his eye where his irises are and everything so that's really nice and I'm going to actually wash this hair because I do not like it I don't understand why they have to keep giving the boys this hairstyle because a, uh, I mean, yeah, guys have this hairstyle, but, like, not every guy has their hairstyle like this. It's just really annoying to me. Oh, yeah, he also bends at the knee. I forgot. Yeah, he's articulated at the knee and at the ankle. I forgot to mention that. So, yes, his ankle is on a swivel movement. Where are the shoes? I was like, I know he had another accessory. I forgot to take the other shoes out. Here's the other shoes. They're like basketball shoes. They're really pretty. It just says shadow on them. And um, I'm not going to get into too much detail with that. But I'll open them though. But Those are pretty basic. I mean, not basic, basic. But um, I didn't think there was anything really special about them. But. They're, they're all right. I definitely prefer this. I definitely prefer the second pair of shoes compared to the first pair of shoes. So here is the second pair of shoes. So they kind of remind me of Air Jordans. That's what these look like. Definitely an Air Jordan vibe. Ooh, these are really nice and flexible. Like, usually I have a hard time getting my finger in the shoe. But these are, like, super flexible. That's really nice. Super rubbery. Okay, I love that. So you got black laces and then shadow written across the tongue of the shoe, the tongue and the um, where the ankle goes. And then the bottoms are just looking like this. And there's an S right there. Is there an H on this one? No, there's S's, just S's. So are these supposed to be Skechers then? Cause it, cause it says S on there. I don't know they're supposed to be like Skechers. Um, but they look like Air Jordans to me. And there's the back. And then it says Los Angeles 2022 because that's where they live in Los Angeles. But I can't get over this shirt. I love this shirt. Bro, you are going to wear this. You are going to wear this, Pietro. This is so you. Like, that's your shirt. Dude, I'm going to, you're going to love that shirt. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to figure out what you're going to wear. I think you're going to wear the shorts and some. I don't know. Maybe you'll just wear these. I don't know. We'll see. But I can't wait to, like, just dress him up and play around with him. And he's going to be my new best friend. He's going to be my new best friend. But, yes. This is your mini-me, Ash. This is your mini-me. It's so funny. I'm so going to send you a pic later of this. Because I, like, tell you. This is your mini me. 
<laughs> once I'm done with this review. Anyway, so yeah, so this is my review on the Rainbow High Ash Doll. I forgot what his last name was. Ash Silvertone? Silvertone? I think that was his name. But aka, his name is going to be Pietro. So this is Pietro, y'all. And yeah, I can't wait to um, see what he looks like on the shelf with all the other dolls. It's going to be an interesting combination with the color and the non-colors. I'm excited, though. Either way, it's really exciting. Um, I know this review was not that great, but it's okay. I'm, I'm just getting back onto the swing of things. So here is the um, stand I forgot to mention. It is this translucent glittery blue. Blue. Oh my gosh. What? I told y'all. I'm tired. Not blue. This is black. It is black. It doesn't say Rainbow High. It's just a, a stand and it has an eight. S and an H right there. Shadow High. And then it has these little studs around it. It's really pretty. I don't use the stands for the boys because they can stand on their own. So I never use them. But yeah. It's here if you... If, <laughs> You like to use the stands. And I don't like stands either because they're so bulky. Like the, the base of the stand is so bulky. I'd rather it just be like half. So it's not super bulky. But because it takes up more shelf space. But anyway. That's my little review on Ash. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you all are doing well. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like videos like these, and I will see you guys in the next video. And yes, um, feel free to comment. So what is your favorite Shadow High character so far? Mine is definitely him, obviously. Um, but I do like the twins. I can't wait to see what their dolls are going to look like. I have not seen them yet. And um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!